Welcome to MediatorPodcast.com, a podcast and video series about mediation, negotiation, and collaboration. My name is Melissa Gregg, and I'm a valuation expert and divorce mediator in St. Louis, Missouri, specializing in divorce and partnership disputes. But today, we're going to discuss overcoming financial abuse and insights from a financial analyst with Leah Hadley. She's actually a CDFA or Certified Divorce Financial Analyst and an accredited financial counselor, which we'll talk more about soon. But Leah is based in Cleveland, Ohio, and she's committed to working with people in a very compassionate fashion um, and offering them financial guidance through different life issues such as divorce. She's also a best-selling author. She has an amazing amount of knowledge, and we're going to get into some pretty good topics. So welcome, Leah. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Melissa. I wonder, like, why would I hire you if I already have an attorney, I already have a mediator, I already have a financial professional, I have an accountant, I have a banker, I have a tax lawyer, like, I have all of these people, like, Leah, why, why do I need to add you to this kind of system? Like, where do you come in here? It's such an important question because I think that it's a reason why um, not enough people take advantage of professionals like us, Melissa. And it really comes down to looking at the divorce process through that financial planning lens. So looking at not just what does this division of assets mean for me today, but looking out into the future and how can we position you so you have the most financially secure future going forward. Um, so many people have so much fear around money when it comes to divorce, so much fear around the unknown, and we can really give them that clarity so that we can take away a lot of that unknown. Um, when it comes to other financial professionals, a lot of them just don't have the kind of training that we have in terms of dealing with people who are going through divorce specifically. You know, there's lots of required continuing education around divorce related issues, tax laws change, divorce laws change, you know, things are always changing in this field and you have to stay up to date on those things in order to really support people. Um, but I also have the accredited financial counselor designation because I work with a lot of people who are in a very vulnerable state. And a lot of the work that we're doing is really digging into some of the relationship that people have with money. So it's not just looking at the numbers, it's not just looking at the projections, but it's looking at how can I feel confident in managing my money going forward? What happened in the past that led me to this moment where I'm feeling very shaky and very worried that I'm not gonna be able to manage money on my own going forward.